Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, assalamu alaykum. We're going to go through a tafsir work by Amin Ahsan Islahi from the Indo-Pak. Pondering over the Qur'an, tadabbur al-Qur'an. Tafsir of Surah Al-Fatiha and Surah Al-Baqarah, Volume 1. This is one of the very interesting tafsir works by the scholar who actually accepts and implements the methodology of Quran centrism, making the Quran, the book of Allah, that which is established, that which is the literal word of God, as the absolute priority, as the barometer for truth and falsehood. Be it when it comes to things in life in general or religious sciences as well, such as ulum al-hadith, fiqh, and theology even, the schools of aqidah. Let us make this the Mizan. Let us make the Quran the Furqan, the one that distinguishes and differentiates between right from wrong, between truth from falsehood. Now, I want to, uh, I was just going through this book a little, little bit, and I came across a passage that usually I'm very interested in, and it's one of the priorities of religion. And Amin Ahsan Islahi has also mentioned this point, because many people, do not make this a priority, although it's very important. And despite many of the people of religion, the people of monotheism, the people of one God, like the Jews, like the Christians, especially the Muslims, ironically the Muslims, have fell into this trap, have fell into this calamity, have actually become a part of this disaster. What am I talking about? Now shirk, which is translated as polytheism, is the grave, gravest sin the worst of crimes of the religion of Islam. According to Allah, that is the thing that Allah will never accept. That is the thing that Allah will never pardon. It's the epitome of tyranny. It's the greatest injustice, even if it doesn't hurt Allah, because Allah cannot be hurt physically, emotionally, etc. He's, he transcends all of these limitations and these boundaries. But despite that, intrinsically, essentially, it is a great wrong. And that's why... Allah prohibits it and threatens to punish the human with it. Now the Muslims generally speaking emphasize on not calling upon Ghayr Allah, not doing dua or supplicate to those uh, entities other than Allah. Don't worship idols, don't worship false deities, don't worship prophets, angels, scholars, people, your desires. These are all forms of shirk. shirk. But one aspect, an important aspect of shirk that is sidelined, undermined, is the shirk of hukum, which we call Tawheed al hakimiya Hakimiya means the authority to, to be a sovereign, to legislate, to make halal, to, ha to make haram, to prohibit something, to permit something, to command something, to forbid something, to be the legislator, to make the lawmaker. The lawmaker, the lawgiver, is only Allah the creator. The creator has the sole right to make this. This does not belong to you. This does not belong to me. Does, this does not belong to the church, be it the Christian or the Muslim church, or the clerics who have taken all the authority and have became entities of worship besides Allah, Arbab besides Allah. Since they became Arbab besides Allah, what does Allah say in the Quran? Allah says in the Quran, in chapter 16, verse 3, 5, the worshippers of false gods say. The worshippers of false gods say what? What do they say? The worshippers of false gods say. If Allah had so willed, we should not have worshipped anything but him. Neither we, nor our forefathers, nor should we have prescribed prohibitions other than his. Nor should we have prescribed prohibitions other than his. Surah Al-Nahl 1635. Now here, worshipping false gods is equated with making something haram, making something impermissible when Allah has made it halal. Because that is solely a divine right. And here, Amin Ahsan Islahi, the Ustad says, this clearly shows that the questions of permission and prohibition and polyth polytheism are closely interlinked. That is why the verse under discussion, while refuting polytheism, specifically directs us to eat what is lawful and wholesome and not to follow in the footsteps of the devil, making lawful what Allah has made lawful. 
as to things that the Arab polytheists had arbitrarily made lawful and unlawful for themselves, references are found to these at several places. Let's see some of the examples. Out of what Allah has produced in abundance in crops and in cattle, they assigned him, they assigned him a share. They say, according to their fancies, this is for Allah and this is for our partners. But the share of their partners reaches not Allah, while the share of Allah reaches their partners. How evil and unjust is their assignment? Even so, in the eyes of most of the pagans, their partners have made alluring the killing of their children in order to lead them to their own destruction and cause confusion in their religion. If Allah had willed, they would not have done so. So leave them alone and their inventions. And, and they say, such and such cattle and crops are taboo and none should eat of them except those whom so they say we wish. Further, there are cattle forbidden to yoke, yoke or burden and cattle on which at salt of the name of Allah is not pronounced. These are inventions against Allah's name. Soon will he require them for their inven uh, in inventions. They say what is in the wombs of such and such cattle was specifically reserved for food for our men and forbidden to our women. But it is like st it is stillborn that all have shares with therein. For their false attribution of superstitions to God, he will soon requit them for he is full of wisdom and knowledge. Lost are those who kill their children from folly without knowledge and forbid food which Allah has provided for them. Inventing lies against Allah. They have indeed gone astray and he did no guidance. Surah Al-An'am 6136 to 6140. Look how Allah emphasizes on the evil, how when man prohibits based on his legislation that which Allah has permitted and made halal and bountiful, bount, bountiful and a blessing, a ni'mah for you to bless from, to uh, benefit from. And now many Muslims have fell into this trap as well. They prohibit the permitted and they permit that which is forbidden. 